Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land, Place Abiding of Isaac After Rhythm's Daily Challenge Time. Kane is a fun character. Yesterday we finished in 487th. Hey, Kate put down a good performance yesterday as well. Only uh, fell behind us by like 1500. That's not very much at all. Um, Europa killed it, of course. This time we have a 39,000 point run from Europa, which could represent a teleport. And this one is Kane all the way down to the cathedral, which could be good. Is Kane always this fast? This is like a revelation for me to start out with here. Kane is like, maybe the last run I did in Isaac was just super slow or something like that. Or maybe my brain is running super slow today, so, you know, at relative velocity, Kane is just killing it. You might say, Northern Lion, I don't think medical science. Ooh, I don't think medical science has progressed to the point where uh, we can compare the speeds of uh, someone moving and the speeds of neurons. And I say, well, not with that attitude, obviously. So I figure with golden bombs, considering, you know, we're on the first floor here and it's going to be relatively small, let's look for a little bit of a seamy seam. You know what I mean? I'm going to try to find a, uh, a black market, and it's probably not going to shut us down too badly uh, with respect to like, our overall time. There's our secret room as well. Uh, might as well blow this guy up. If we can get five cents for the next floor, we could, ooh, there we go, have a uh, spirit heart or... An arcade, depending on, on how we feel about our performance up to that point. Put this down here. Like, if we can get a spirit heart naturally, I'd rather do that. But if we can't get a spirit heart naturally, then uh, it may be in our best interest to just buy one from the shop. But, you know, we'll, we'll tackle that bridge when we come to it. Which is not an actual expression. You don't tackle bridges unless you're some kind of, like, bridge football player. Or a football player who plays bridge, which is also completely fine by me. I'm not going to say, you know, you have to exclusively have hobbies that are traditionally, you know, masculine. You can do whatever you please, basically. Well, it does not appear that we will find a self-sacrifice room. And by self-sacrifice, of course, I mean black market. I don't know what I was going to do on a black market anyway, but items like Sackboy are so important that I figured it was worth a shot. Uh, we should look for a second secret room. And I also think that probably uh, it's in our best interest, from a daily perspective, to save our money. What? Where's our second secret room? Uh, could it be up here? The reason I say save our money is because uh, if we get an arcade... Oh, that's so much better. Uh, if we get an arcade, then we can get an IV bag, potentially. And the IV bag is such a huge point getter on daily. So, even though it may seem kind of... I wouldn't even say counterproductive, but just... Uh, like a little bit more dangerous. I think it's the right course of action to actually uh, just try to not get hit on the next floor, which I realize sounds pretty rich considering the fact that I just got hit, but uh, you know, the best laid plans of mice and men, something, something, something. Let's see what we got from our box here. We obviously don't really care about the trinket. The card is the devil, which is solid enough. Shouldn't have taken the pill, but in the end it doesn't really matter, and we'll take uh, the cancer trinket as well. Down to the next floor, let's do this. I'm ready. On this floor, with two keys, we could buy a, uh, oh, that's so good, man. We could buy a Spirit Heart, uh, from our shop for sure. We just need to get to our shop before we get hit, and then we're safe. I don't know, uh, Eve's Mascara is kind of a, it's a fickle beast. And beyond being a fickle beast, it's kind of shitty. <laughs> to, not to, not to mince words. Uh, Eve's Mascara can be good, and I'm actually thinking that because we have the Cancer Trinket, it might be, like completely counteracted and give us great DPS. But our DPS is already great, so I'm also kind of thinking, why rock the boat, you know? It seems like we should probably just stick with what works right now. And what's working right now is having a really, really high rate of fire with half-decent damage to back it up. Eve's dead bird foot is not what we want. Okay, this is a very... Oh, I just hit my microphone there. It's a very, very important room. There we go. Just don't walk on the spikes. Three bombs is nice. And should be a spirit heart in here. There's a spirit heart, but there's also sack boy. We have to get sack boy. And then just hope we get two cents quickly enough. Like right here would be a nice opportunity for that. That's okay. BBF or BFF is also great as well. But uh, I really hope I didn't screw myself out of the opportunity to get uh, a spirit heart here. We may not need the spirit heart. Pandora's box is also... Um, completely acceptable as far as items go. We can use that on the caves, probably. I suppose we could save it for a little bit later, but... Might not be prudent. Just get two cents here. 
There's a dude we can blow up. I didn't mean to step on that yet. Shouldn't have stepped on that yet. That's okay. Blow up this dude, get a spirit heart, and live your life in, in relative peace and harmony. God dang it! Where the heck is my, uh, my two cents? We still did not have a spirit heart. I kind of like it because we're riding the razor's edge here, but good god. Uh, let's not take that yet. That scares me. It's just Monstro. And I hope that those words don't come back to bite me in the ass. Laces out, Dan. No, like, just stay, stay cool here. We're doing very, very well. This Monstro is relatively non-mobile. He's not immobile. He's just non-mobile. Sweet. Give me HP and a deal with the devil. That's not HP. Our deal with the devil has no deals on it. So this may, uh... This may be a deal with the angel run. Which is completely fine. Oh, two spirit hearts. Awesome. Okay. We're gonna head down to the next floor. We, we don't really care about the spirit heart anymore. Yes, we are leaving a devil card behind. I don't think that matters at all. I think our our plan here is going to be... No, that's... Is it worth taking Gigafart to use Pandora's box on this floor? You might be saying, why not? But, oh, we got another Golden Bomb. Good thing we did Golden Bomb training earlier. Um, but there actually is a reason. You get extra Spirit Hearts if you use Pandora's box later. So, you know, does Gigafart do more than a couple of Spirit Hearts over the course of a run for us? I kind of think no, but I also kind of think it's, like, almost completely irrelevant in all likelihood, so... I'm not gonna sweat that too much. I think we will just go to... Eh, let's see if our secret room's adjacent. It's definitely not. Since it's not, we will go to our curse room. Okay. I think we're playing really well fundamentally here. I think we're having a good, uh... A good performance. So far. Except for this stupid daily I took... Or stupid damage I took, uh, earlier on the daily. Against the Silkworm, but, the, you know, relatively minor in the whole scheme of things. Yo, fuck this Incubus to death. Just hit him like, yeah, there we go. Got a nickel and a battery charge. Enough money to, to be pleased. And enough Spirit Hearts to feel relatively safe, at least for the time being. I would still really like to take IV Bag, which is why I'm happy we have enough money to buy something from our shop and then still spawn an arcade on the next floor, because IV Bag and then Sack Boy on top of that is, like, disgustingly good. Especially if we can get Bloody Penny or something like that, and I would replace the Cancer Trinket with Bloody Penny in this situation. It's just, it's too good to pass up. The the points, that is. That, that could be a seam that we could use to, to get ahead here. So, again, ooh, thank you. With Golden Bombs, we should be, uh, trying to... Not just kill enemies with bombs, which will speed things up for us, even though our damage is relatively good, but also trying to find, you know, secret rooms. Uh, we should blow up all the mushrooms, because you never know if there's, like, a magic mush in there. That could save us a lot of, a lot of tough, uh, situations in the future. Or it could give us pills that ruin our run. Those are the options. Trying not to take pills as often as usual. Um, sometimes they can backfire. Let's take this one, though. I can see forever. That one didn't backfire at all. Okay, this is a good opportunity to get a mush. Also a good opportunity to get some money. You never give me your mushroom. You only give me pharmaceutical speed downs. And in the middle of my town, I break down. That's, that's, that's the Beatles, you never give me your money. I think is from the Abbey Road montage. Speed down's not that bad. At least we're not Maggie with a speed down. That would be that would be nasty, but we're not, so we don't need to worry about it. Just blowing this stuff up for the chance at a uh, at a black market. I think that's worth going for. I mean, with golden bombs, like most of the time, there's going to be enough rocks around that you're you're hitting like seven or eight with the same uh, shot, right? Not seven or eight, maybe, but at least two or three. Keep these guys away. Oh, we there's still one left, apparently. Is that a golden key? If it's a golden key, I... Oh, it's a sack. Oh, it's just a sack that enables us to get uh, incredible amounts of points on this run. My bad. Uh, we might as well get Spider-Mod, because money is not tight right now. And I think we'll buy a key just to insulate ourselves from, like, the pressures of not having many keys. Uh, Spider-Mod is not that good, but I imagine... Like, I'm still thinking this IV bag is pretty likely, so... We can get the, the maximum swag bonus of 99 cents anyway. Okay, and Eternal Heart is very positive. And we're still killing it time-wise here. I don't really care if it's a deal with the Devil or a deal with the Angel. I am I'm content either way, as long as it just gives me the opportunity to get something out of it. 
So we have a two of spades still. We could pop two of spades and then take this judgment with us. Tell you what, I'm actually just going to blow up the judgment right now. Uh, because it does give us a better chance of getting a deal with the devil. Which I don't even know if it factors on dailies. It might be the case where you're either going to get a deal with the devil or you're not. And the judgment is actually not going to affect it. I have no idea. Well, at least we got something out of it. But it might have been a little overkill. So we got two of spades, two of diamonds. You definitely use two of spades and then take two of diamonds with you. And hope for an arcade on this floor. Everything's going just fine right now. Absolutely no complaints whatsoever. Um, I will do this. And you know what? We're definitely using Pandora's box on this floor. We're not saving it for the cathedral. So we might as well just pop it right now. Get a syringe for a speed upgrade and a shot speed upgrade. And also uh, a little closer to spun. And we get the spirit hearts as well. It's a positive situation. Everybody's happy. Uh, we will be looking out for an arcade so we can get into that... Boss trap room. Ability to fly would be huge there. Gluttony. I don't mind if you give me more HP. We might just wait a second to take it, though. If it is HP, which it is not. <laughs> oh, well. Um, just trying to, trying to find the seam on this one. And we haven't really come across it yet, I think. But we've got the foundation. You know, we got Sackboy. We got this arcade chance. We got a two of diamonds in case, like, a blank card shows up. Or, like, Endless Nameless would be an interesting trinket to take here from a point perspective. I don't know. There's there's some interesting stuff going on here. The question is where it's all going to break and uh, and either turn out amazingly for us or we'll watch the scene pass us by like a 1993 song by the far side. Uh, sounds like a key back there. Dr. Fetus. I think you got to try it just for shits and giggles, right? So we got good damage on our bombs, and we've got a lot of bombs. We now have unlimited bombs always, which is... Oh, it's a dime, actually. Which is good! I would say good. I would say scary, but still good. This could be a, uh... That was incredibly poor damage. Almost as bad as that damage would have been, if it had existed. Um, blow up the key beggar. So now we're hoping for some killer synergies in this regard. I'm a little suspicious... That we do not have a self-sacrifice room, and by self-sacrifice I mean arcade room. I would really like this. IV bag would fit very nicely here. Now all we need is like pyro, and then we can just start popping off non-stop. Liberty cap. Good trinket, but certainly not good enough to get rid of uh, to get rid of the cancer trinket. The chariot card. Very good on. Don't make me say it. An arcade. Let's blow up the rest of our mushrooms here. Now this is potentially also a trap that could slow us down a little bit. So I don't want to, uh, I don't want to take a hundred years to make this happen. You know, blowing up everything. But we're going to do our part. That would have found it. That would have found it as well. Chariot card basically exists pretty much exclusively for our, our uh, arcade or our deal with the devil, whichever comes first. Box of friends means effectively very little for us right now. Let's take mom's purse. Let's take this card for get out of jail free. We can at least use that as a key, but apart from that, it's not very useful on a run that doesn't go to Mega Satan. Actually, it is very useful. Use that to get into your boss trap room. Find your second secret room right there. Nah, probably not going to take that one. We're going to go back and take Liberty Cap, I assume. But now we can take Endless Nameless as well. Alright, I think we're making the sound decisions here. We can still buy a box of friends, get, you know, double Mongo Baby, double Spider Bomb, or Spider uh, Mod. If we really decide that that's a good decision for us, but honestly, our uh, our Mongo Baby's not doing too much because I'm not shooting very often. Which is not a problem, it's actually a good thing. It's because our bombs are doing so much damage, we don't really have to shoot that often. In fact, it's in our best interest not to shoot that often most of the time. HP, no deal with the devil. Are you freaking kidding me? We're still ahead of schedule time-wise, and we have unlimited bombs to use for our own uh, nefarious purposes here, so... I'm not sweating this very much, but at least we have a good use for get out of jail free. I guess we could take Bible Tract. We still have a two of diamonds, but I'm, I'm okay with holding that two of diamonds for now. You know, spend your money. We can use it to get back up there later, possibly. I was really banking on there being an arcade at this point, but oh well. Okay, two sacks. Plenty of cash. A strength card. Well, we're, we're going to be rolling two of diamonds. Oh, we got temperance. Okay, this is huge for us. So on this room, we pop... Strength and temperance and try to make it work. Actually, not on this room, but on a... Soon. Because IV bag means we definitely don't buy Box of Friends. It means we just take IV bag with us because we'll get incredible amounts of points out of it. 
but it's gonna slow us down slightly, so we got it. You know what? Just pop it here. Don't even use the strength card yet. Maybe instead of Liberty Cap, we will we will roll with um, the Golden Horseshoe for an extra chance at like doubled item rooms. Yeah, this is this is what slows me down, man. Joker card. Yeah, I'm not fighting you though. Dead Sea Scrolls is not even good, so we basically just lost points for picking it up. But maybe we get something out of it. I don't know. Do you want to get that spirit heart? Okay, don't take too, too long. Two of hearts, two of diamonds. Just pop that one. Another Joker card. Maybe we use that on our next floor. I'll tell you what, two of hearts? Didn't expect that to work. The IV bag is useful enough that I'm willing to do this. And I'm not necessarily over the moon about the fact that it's going to slow us down. But I think that it does provide enough that it, it's worth the shot here. We should have picked this stuff up before two of uh, spades, obviously, or two, sorry, two of hearts. But I thought maybe it would be fun and, and work for us, which it obviously did not. The fool. I think we just go. As much as I hate to say it, I think we get the hell out of here. Um, we're going to be about a minute and a half slower than I'd like to be, which is very dangerous. But we have a Joker card that we didn't have before. We also have this two of diamonds, which... I guess we'll just pop go to 99 cents for now. Probably not going to take a speed down. And we'll just we'll just go, man. Just get the heck out of here. Is there anything else in the shop? Like, we might as well buy it if it provides us with any value at all. Um, I don't really want Box of Friends that much, though. So I think we're just going to go. Okay. Go, 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 go. This is like a minute and a half behind where you want to be on the next floor. A minute and a half ahead, I should say, of where you want to be on the next floor. So it's like a little scary. But this is, I like to live dangerously, but we did miss Boss Rush. <laughs> Boss Rush. Boss Rush yesterday. The Chris Boss. This is very hard to say. The Chris Bosch Rush. You know, that's the rush you get when you make a, a dope-ass block in the NBA Finals. For the Miami Heat. Why do this room? Points, baby. Look, I don't love it, but it is points. And in fact, I actually do think we probably go ahead and pop this Joker card to see what we got. Okay, it's a good item. We got a two of hearts. We got a two of hearts and a two of hearts. I like that if we find a, an arcade. We may want to bolt through, like, basically the entire rest of this floor. Like, I definitely don't want to fight these jerk-offs. If the enemies are easy enough, I don't mind at all. But if they're, like, at all difficult, I'd rather just bounce. Or if they take too long. By the way, I'm not going to be using... Uh, I'm not going to be using our stupid uh, Dead Sea Scrolls because Kamikaze would just annoy me at this point. I'm holding out hope that there's like a pyro buried somewhere deep within this run. Okay, that's that's all right. Certainly we do want to visit our shop. That was really smart. I guess we have so much damage on our Dr. Fetus shots when Crown of Light's actually active. So that's extremely positive as well. Two of clubs, sure. That's a nice little point bonus there. Probably not using that for maximum swag, but that's that's all right. Triple shot. You know what? I'll take it. It's very strange. We could have gone a little deeper there for a seam, but uh, unfortunately, I've kind of forced myself into a bit of a tricky spot here. Bad damage, but uh, triple shot kind of forced my hand there, I felt. Also, really glad I have the cancer trinket, because our rate of fire is just horrible right now. So there's our boss fight. I do think we go to like a couple more rooms. Tower is pretty much worthless. I think we go to a couple more rooms trying to find um, maybe the shop, but we want to get out of here like pretty soon after that. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. Still one of these guys? That's it, okay. Could go get that bomb, but I don't really care about it. If we fight greed, we fight greed, but I would prefer to just have some items. Not a secret room. Okay, uh, we don't really like this that much, so let's get the hell out of here. Ooh, we're going to be out of here by 18 minutes for sure. I don't love it, though. I think, let me put it this way. I don't love it based on Europa's uh, score. I think our score could be pretty good, but relatively speaking, we're kind of getting crapped on right now. We got mom transformation. We also got triple shot. Oh, I don't know. That might be horrible. <laughs> triple shot, uh... Mom's knife now, and Dr. Fetus, and the mom transformation. So, yeah, sure, I'd like to play that, but we may or may not have an opportunity to do so. Uh, I think I'm just going to rely on our bombs to continue doing damage and hope that Mom's knife gives us more damage. Just got a sack room, battery charge, and the stars. 
Uh, we'll roll with the stars, even though it doesn't provide me maybe with what I want to see right now. Just looking for some kind of card that teleports. It's like we're definitely going to get to boss rush. That That's pretty much like inconsequential at this point. I'd love to keep, like I think for boss rush, our strat is going to be to keep uh, Crown of Light as long as is possible. Like, it, it's pretty easy to lose, as you can see, but if you can keep it, you know, you get that damage bonus. It can be really enormous. Um, I don't really want a Stars card out of the Curse Room here, because it just takes time, right? So, uh, I, I think we maybe just accept that we're probably going to take Red Heart damage. There is a Tinted Rock here, though. We already have Small Rock, so, yeah, I guess that was the smart money. Okay, I'm willing to give this a try. Let's go fast. Not worth it. Not worth it at all. Oh fuck, it's a dead end. Good, good, we walked him into it. Yo, you gotta go a little faster though, self. Don't fuck yourself out of boss rush on this one. There's a mom's knife available that everyone's gonna get. There's a, there's a tinted rock there, believe you me, I saw it. If it's faster to kill the enemies, we're gonna kill them, but... Sometimes we should be okay with bolting. Like this room, for example. We're gonna clear a path and then bolt, which ended up being exactly the same. But, okay, we will go to our shop. If we fight greed, we fight greed. I'm not too concerned about it. Kill him pretty quickly. Red candle. We'll take starter deck. We'll take our spirit heart. Take our other card. Other card is the fool. Other card is the sun. Okay, that was worth the, the time we spent there. This one, you just gotta hit the buttons. Great work. One of the best times I've ever had on that room. And then just go to town on mom here. Oh, just hit one more, please. Just walk into her. There we go. We did it. <laughs> a little scared at times there. Uh, and I think we'll take Fat Odd Mushroom out of these two. That's that's pretty much a no-brainer. Okay. No Dead Sea Scrolls usage. I don't trust Kamikaze, man. Now just get as much Crown of Light action as you possibly can here. Keep yourself down here. Hit the enemies right away. Even Mega Fatty can't stand up to too much of this. It was a champion mom, so, like, prepare yourself. We should also point out, this is a hush fight. Dude, can I just say thank God we didn't take Eve's Mascara? We would never be shooting here. But, of course, not everybody's going to take Mom's Knife on this one either, you know. That's, that might just be me. Or not everyone's going to take Dr. Fetus. That's not just going to be me, but it, that might be in the relative minority. Okay, good. It's not going slowly. Is my assessment of things, at least. I think it's going relatively fast. Still got Crown of Light active. Oh, that sucks. Our speed is still pretty shitty. So that is... It's posing a threat. Get a Spirit Heart from these guys, though? Oh, two Spirit Hearts? You're too good to me. I don't know how we killed the first phase of the, of the Frail already. There goes Crown of Light. Uh, apparently hasn't affected our, our damage as much as I thought it would. I don't think we're... <laughs> that's that's pretty bad, but I don't think we're trending down here. I think I've just made some mistakes. Oh, you, you can't take damage yet. Still got the heart. Okay, so we have the hush fight to prepare for. We gotta get out of here before like 27 minutes or something like that. That seems very likely given that we're getting through these waves pretty quickly. I love when the, the bombs just kind of like surround the enemy and they get hit by all three. Still got the double haunts here though. Okay, I, I saw that coming like right at the last possible moment. Ruka, if you want out, you can get out. But just wait until boss rush is done, alright? We're almost there. Probably. We're like halfway there. That's almost in some situations, you know. And Bon Jovi says, oh. Well, he goes, Oh, we're halfway there. It's He's not saying like, oh, we're halfway there. It's like you got a long way to go. No, halfway is it's a really good milestone. It's like you're making progress. You can also like take my hand. We'll make it, I swear, and all that. But Where's our other? Oh, there he is. That's all right. Husk has like no chance here. I'm a little surprised, man. The The damage is uh, lower than I thought after losing Crown of Light. 
Now we're like three shotting enemies, whereas previously I thought most enemies were getting one shot, honestly, which is actually triple shot, but you get the idea. Okay, we need like a Mr. Mega or something. Or I would, actually, I would love a uh, just butt bombs. Having all these do AOE damage, assuming that the AOE damage actually stacks, would be beautiful. So this is gonna suck for a minute here. I think it is worth using one bomb to clear out at least some of those bomb flies, which are super annoying. Don't charge me. Don't charge me, Cotto. I beg her. The dingle there will reprimand me. Don't charge me. Hey, we're done. Okay. My cat friend, you may exit. If you have to poop or pee, now's the time. We got a uh, multi dimensional baby. That's alright. I mean, it's not a bad thing. I don't know how it affects our bombs, actually. That was the last remaining bomb fly. That's so good. Alright, we got the stars card and the sun card. We got the sun and the stars. Could have teleported out of here and explored more, but... No, nah, we, we have to still keep our eye on the prize here for the... For the hush fight. So, what's our secret now? I mean, we're going to the cathedral. So, usually if you're going to the cathedral, um, you actually don't want to teleport until the cathedral. We got mom's bra twice for this room. What an, what an incredible haul. Um, Yara's really good, so we'll take Sun Yara, and then we also got this uh, magic mushroom here, which is incredible. Um, but yeah, you don't want to teleport until the uh, until the cathedral. So we need to find a self-sacrifice room on the cathedral, and thus gain you know the tools necessary to actually survive using a self-sacrifice room on the cathedral. And the Sun card might be part of that. Um, and if possible, the other option would be. I mean, we don't even need an AWAS rune. This one's all about self-sacrifice teleporting, I think. So it's, it's, a, I'm thinking it's pretty confident, or I'm pretty confident, I should say, that we are going to get a self-sacrifice room on the cathedral. So that's reassuring, because now all I have to do is make sure that I maintain a, uh, enough HP and the stars card, or the, sorry, the sun card, to actually do that. And then with the Yara rune, I, I don't know, I have no idea. You probably use it to, I mean, if you had IV bag, you'd use it to double up like a temperance card or something like that for maximum swag bonus, but... In our current situation, I don't know what you do. Let's fight Skolex and not lose our chance at a deal with the devil. Even though at this point, HP may be more valuable than our uh, our deal with the devil shenanigans, you know? It's very difficult to hit Skolex like this. Ah, never mind. It's the easiest thing in the world. Okay, so here's our deal with the devil. Yeah, okay, as much as this runs counter to what I was saying earlier, I think both of these are actually valuable for us uh, in the way, or in the sense, I should say, that they can provide us with more HP. Uh, the mark immediately provides us with more HP. Gimpy gives us the chance to get more HP. Wow, you just gave me IV bag. Like, way too late for me to actually want it, but thank you anyway, because it's really still useful. Every red heart we find could be valuable for us now. That's another two of diamonds. we will just pop that right away. We got a strength card and the sun card. We want to keep Yara's son, yeah. Yara's son! Okay, so I'm thinking you pick this up. And then you, once you find red hearts at this point, we just go to town with the uh, self-sacrifice IV bag. Strength, of course, does benefit us for a room, but it's the kind of thing that, like, a lot of people seem to care about, but is actually, in my opinion, not that worthwhile. Okay, so I'm going to hit myself a little bit here. Head into this room. Grab the shears, but mostly I'm just doing this for the fight bonus. And if we get hit... Oh, you might as well do that then, yeah. But if you get hit, you can... Um, the shears is a great item, by the way, but IV bag is just better from a daily perspective. If we get hit and we think we could die, then it's very simple. We just pop the... Uh, we just pop the sun card. We want to get back to full health, actually, because we do have um, Crown of Light that won't be active as long as our HP is low. That was just a, a quick opportunity for us to raise our points a little bit. You know what? Just use a regular bomb here. Crown of Light may be active now? No, you need like actually full red hearts. So it doesn't run on like the, the mob trap room principle where it's like as long as your red hearts are... Uh, red hearts plus spirit hearts have to equal the number of red heart containers you have. This one runs on different logic. If red heart containers are full, return true. Okay. We basically are not in a bad position at all for getting to the, the hush fight. It should be pretty much guaranteed. And, you know, we just we just keep getting faster, really, because of the, the incredible damage upgrades that we've had. There's a self-sacrifice room. 
it's possible that that's the that's the secret. I'll admit. But I think that the extra five grand or so from the hush fight, minus the damage and time penalty that you take, are um, are worth risking it to get to the next level. I don't know why we got two HP there. Maybe they were two on top of each other. Um, but I, yeah, I think it's worth risking to try to get the best of both worlds because it's possible that we could get the value out of the. Um, hush fight and then get the value out of the cathedral teleport but I'll admit this is a potential like God or Damarong you know this is a this is a moment where this the seed could uh, to, could diverge here but I think we're doing a great job I really think that we have put it together on this daily um, and I'm I'm goddamn proud of us you know Europa score is incredible by the way 92 or 92nd is uh, is really good but the most remarkable thing not to just continually you know, toot Europa's horn here, but the most incredible thing about the Europa scores is how consistent they are, you know? It's just like, non-stop top 100 runs. Just shit the bed once. Don't actually. But if you do, I'd be happy. <laughs> but I'd be happy for a day, and you would feel shame for a lifetime, so. Plus, then what would I do? I'd have no idea where I was going on the daily. Might as well use Chariot for one room. It's actually slowed us down, probably. Still not stressed out about time too much. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. But um, bum, oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, thank you for the sun hiding behind the. T it's amazing this saying a song in kindergarten. Remember every word. Ask me anything about organic chemistry. Took a, took a whole class. Don't remember shit. Not a whole class, like a whole course, with a professor and everything. Okay, great stuff. That was a really good freeze from Spider-Man. I just wish, wish I took advantage of it a little earlier. We probably would have gotten the KO real quick. No deal with the devil. Straight to the hush fight. No problems here whatsoever. Go down. Now, if there are red hearts, that's good. But we won't know until a little bit further in here. I think you take Harlequin Baby. We already have unlimited bombs, so what do we do with Samson's Chains? Ah, we could use it as like a blocker or something. Shielded Tears might be okay here. And then what do you got in here? Steam Sail, we buy. Black Candle, we buy. Spirit Hearts, we buy. Uh, and then you blow this dude up. Get five extra cents back for the swag bonus. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we do have some red hearts. Um, I don't want to use the red hearts like super prodigiously. Devil card will bring into this fight. We probably won't need the sun. You know, we should probably bring the sun in just in case. Like, we don't need Yera. We'll use Yera on like the dark room or something instead. But like, bring the sun card in with the devil card. Where's the sun card? I, I've dropped it. Okay. So we're going to hurt ourselves. Grab this. Hurt ourselves, grab this. This is just for like the very, very mild swag bonus. We want to go in with Crown of Light being active, at least at the start though. Yeah, d try not to blow yourself up. Okay, this is what we want. We'll pop the Devil card right away. Just don't forget to come back for the Arrow Rune. I actually forget the score that Europa had. Is it 39,000? We have a chance. It largely does hinge on the self-sacrifice room existing, but... So I'm also hurting myself with IV Bag, by the way, not just to get the money, but if it pays out with a Spirit Heart thanks to Gimpy, beautiful. Also, every penny gives us a chance of getting a Luck Upgrade. Um, that Luck Upgrade gives us a better chance of getting a Gimpy payout, and we may at some point basically reach reach a point where we're just getting, like, consistent Gimpy payouts. I gotta admit, uh, damage isn't quite as good as I thought it would be with Crown of Light, but that's just even more incentive to not lose Crown of Light. Because if we lose it, it's going to take us so much longer that it could actually like cut into our into our points on this one. So just you know enjoy it. If we can get to like 50% through this fight without getting hit, I'd be thrilled. It would be of course amazing if we could just get through the whole fight without getting hit. But the odds of this are not high. I also hate how uh, Harlequin Baby's cracking into this dog's armor before my bombs actually go off, thus maybe making him more damage resistant to them. But I mean, are you seeing the damage that each bomb is doing? It's like 1,000 damage. <laughs> 1,982. That's that's pretty good. We're getting some fairly consistent damage done here now. I do wish we had more bomb synergies. The synergies we do have 
are the bomb in, you know, a, a late 90s context, but uh, they aren't bomb synergies. Just get in the corner. Yo, yeah, come at me, dog. Mom's knife, gotcha. I'm not moving. You can't make me move. I can see the comments already. He's learning! Look at that. Look at that. We still safe down here? I think we're safe down here. The other shots are dying before they get here. That's not gonna work. Just wait it out, man. Sure, it fucks up your timing, but... Even... Oh! Oh! I... <laughs> it, like, I, I can't deny that it really fucks with your timing. That didn't hit. That's about as close as I was comfortable getting. Uh, what? Oh, now, now it all hits the fan. That's all right. Now we just try to steamroll him as quickly as possible. We're still doing over a thousand. Like, it's not bad. Thank God there's all these red hearts down here, though. So my damage penalty for this is going to be horrible. But... We're going to get the swag bonus back, at least. Yeah, definitely don't do what I'm doing. It's like the, it's the least efficient way to make this happen. I really thought that could work. Gimpy does give us those red hearts when we hit enemies as well, which might be like as good as the sun card if there's a self-sacrifice room on the cathedral. There may or may not be. I don't know. I'm just I'm spitballing here. We should have the speed necessary to get out of the way. I know it scales with your speed, but sometimes that scaling is bullshit. Yeah, sometimes it scales with your speed, but you're still too slow to turn. So as long as you just run in an infinitely straight line, you should be fine. Just find me an infinitely straight line on planet Earth. Not not even on planet Earth, just on this level. You can't. It doesn't exist. Yeah, because we're sleeping when we have them. It's, an, it's reference to Night at the Roxbury. Dude, the shit is over if you'll just let it end. So it's really up to you, Hush. You know, I'm at what I consider to be full health. You're at no health. It's up to you how long you want this charade to go on. Yo, can you actually, like, not get red hard payouts? Or, sorry, uh... Not even red hard payouts. Like, gimpy payouts from IV bag? Or is my luck stat just so bad that that's... That's where we at right now. Oh, I didn't even leave a half red heart, man! We gotta get another half red heart before we get Crown of Light back. A little silly of me. Don't need a bomb. Although, you know what? Check check out this min-maxing. You buy the bomb, because we'll eventually get to 99 cents, we will not get to 99 bombs. Now, this is important. Are there spirit hearts potentially available here? I don't see a tinted rock there. I don't see a tinted rock here. We have to check, because that does make a, a lot of difference coming up here to the cathedral. So we may use our Yera rune on... A room with a bunch of half hearts in it. Like maybe if we kill like a, a chub or a, a husk or something, or a host, I should say, or something like that. Um, that way, can just like maximize. Oh, here a font's real good. I don't really want to double spirit hearts though. We got Yera Yera. Well, we know our sun card is back here if we need it. Let's just take our death card for now. Don't take the spirit hearts yet, they might be more valuable later. But we're looking for a self-sacrifice room. If I can use Yera to double like 10 half red hearts, that's huge. Yeah, take, might as well take the second Yera. Um, and the sun card, we're not going to use it for mapping because it's still valuable for us. Uh, just in the context of it being able to like... Uh, give us full health if we're playing a self-sacrifice room, obviously. Just blow this guy up. I hope we didn't miss a seam by constantly blowing up judgments. That'd be a bummer. So I basically just popped the chariot to get over there. I, I would do it again, man. Was Europa score 39,000? We're not... We, like, it's basically a mathematical impossibility for us to hit it. I don't know if if maybe he got IV bag earlier and he's got a seam that, that I could only imagine. Or if... Uh, if maybe I've misinterpreted... 
the way that his run went down. Maybe he actually teleported on the uh, on the mom's heart floor. He's got he's always got the right answers, man. I gotta I gotta take a look at the footage, see how he did this one. We are gonna go back, by the way. We'll look for our secret rooms. We'll go to all of our dead ends and oh, I need another red heart. Go to all of our dead ends and check if they provide us with anything. Two half red hearts. Not gonna double those. Just a little, little unnecessary. Because we uh, obviously like I'd like to do everything on this floor, but we do also have to kill the boss. That's just like not negotiable. Kill the boss. Get the maximum points you can. Stop taking so much damage would be nice. I do think, by the way, that today we're going to be in the top, like... Well, we know we're not going to be top 100 because Europa's 92nd. I'd say top 250. I know I say that, like, every run. But I think top 250 is, like, pretty realistic here. Let's go back and get this half heart. Uh, I might as well check for second secret rooms, like, while we're here. Saves us a little bit of time on the back end. All right, that's fine. We still got, like, IV bag plays that we can throw out when necessary. Uh, do we, like, when we're really, really tight for, uh... We're tight for points. We know we're not going to be able to get anything, like, super special. We can just IV bag the crap out of ourselves and hope for the best, I guess. But if I don't find a self-sacrifice room, I'm going to be a little disappointed. But it's possible the one that we left behind in the, the womb 2 or the womb 1, it's possible that would have been, like, a red herring. That might have been worth less points than doing things the way we're doing them right now. Come on, just give me like a forget me now. You've got the power within you. I think that would have found it, but let's check. That definitely would have found it. Oh, we've already found our secret room. Okay. So we probably have like three more dead ends available here. I've been milking this one for all the points I can find. And yet still, we are bereft. Could we have gotten an extra like 5,000 points out of, uh, out of Yera? I honestly think that that's starting to look like the smart money. You know, maybe you like Yera those two of spades. If you get to 99 keys, what's that? It's another like 2,000 points maybe. And then um, combine that with the bonus you get for finishing the run. Is this just like a technically perfect run for Europa? Low damage penalty. Uh, there's not even that much point to picking these up, but low damage penalty, uh, or non-existent damage penalty even, is a theoretical possibility. Let's blow up these rocks. I've, I gotta hold out hope, man. There's only one more, only one more dead end section here. And that's it! Alright, so now, oh, please don't take that damage. Now it all, uh, becomes about basically just maximizing the amount of IV bag action you can get. So we'll, I think we'll actually double the spirit hearts twice. Uh, it's pretty, pretty minimal, but there you go. Now we got like eight of those. Did we double the sun card in here too? Oh, we did. So we'll get a lot of plays off IV back like that. But the money that we gain from it is like irrelevant. Thirty. 33626. Let's try that again. Pick this all up. Double it. 33639. Okay. So we're gaining like four points per attempt here. Nicely done. Sun card. 33669, because we got a spirit heart out of that one. Well, time is money. This is my this is my seam. I don't recommend it. Okay, you got all this. Hit it twice more. Got your spirit heart back. Now we're losing points at this point. Okay, look for a second secret room where maybe there's a bunch of red hearts. Because this is not going to do it, man. This is not your seam. Maybe I was uh, even a little bit overly optimistic to think... Did we hit this one? I guess not. Maybe it was even a little bit overly optimistic to think that... Um, We'd be top 250. I'd say top 500 is like pretty much set in stone, but I don't know. I, I'm, I'm starting to think that uh, I might have overestimated our chances here. Again, I mean, it seems like I'm saying it all the time now. Kudos to Europa for a, a really good performance here and for being a great... Uh, ooh, this could be interesting at least, but for being a great um, benchmark as well. Like, I appreciate that... Uh, 
we also gain a little bit of an advantage just from knowing what's going to happen before it happens on the run. And none of these are second secret rooms, right? We already pretty much did our due diligence. Oh, we already went to the second secret room, right, you idiot. Okay, um, down to the next floor, and by that I mean end the run. We're in 192nd. I think that's pretty fair. I performed admirably today, but Europa found... Oh, we, we were only like 1,300 points behind. That could just be damage penalty. Uh, for now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.